In this video, I'm gonna show you something that's changed recently regarding fragments on Android. It's gonna be a, a really quick video. Um, you know, the title is kind of uh, uh, clickbaity. It says, you know, on create view has been deprecated. It hasn't technically been deprecated, but basically there's an easier way to uh, set your layout and your fragments that basically makes it, uh, we don't need on create view anymore. So I'm gonna quickly just kind of show you that and give you an example here and show you the change. So on my screen here, I have just a blank project open up. Uh, it's just one activity, one layout. Inside the layout is, the layout name is activity main, and we have a frame layout with an ID of main container. So I'm gonna close this because we don't need this anymore, and now I'm gonna generate a fragment file. So I'm gonna right click on the main package directory, go down to fragment, go down to uh, blank fragment, unclick these because we don't need anything special in here. I do want to generate the layout and the name doesn't matter. I'm just going to leave this as blank fragment and click finish. So click add and that's going to add it to Git, even though it didn't really uh, need to do that. So now what we can do here instead of using on create view, because in the past, basically on create view is only used to inflate the layout. So now what we can do is just cut this. I can actually get rid of on create view and I can pass the layout to the fragment constructor. So the class extension of the fragment. So r.layout and then I just pass the layout. Now this is gonna run exactly as it did before. We just have one less function inside of the fragment class. So now that I've set the layout, I'm just gonna go into main activity and we're gonna do a fragment transaction to actually set this fragment. So referencing the support fragment manager, begin transaction, do replace, reference the main container, that's the, the container that's inside of activity main. I want to instantiate a new blank fragment and we can pass a tag of blank fragment if we want to. And then we want to commit that transaction. So I'm not adding it to the back stack. I'm not doing anything special here. I'm just simply doing the fragment transaction to bring it into view. So we have our blank fragment here with our layout being referenced. Now let's go into the layout for this and I'm gonna change this string so that we actually see something when we inflate this fragment. So now at the top left corner, we should see some text that says blank fragment when it's inflated. So I'm gonna press Shift F10 to run this and we can take a look at our app here. So there's our fragment coming into view. We see the text blank fragments. Everything works exactly as it, as it should, as it did before, before we got rid of on create view. So that's gonna be it for this video. I just wanna show you this kind of quickly because it's a fairly new change. Um, at least I think it's a new change because I, I only recently realized that they did this maybe, I don't know, two weeks ago. I don't know when they actually implemented it, but I only realized that they did it you know, two weeks ago. So definitely a new thing. Like a year ago, I'm pretty positive you couldn't do this. So yeah, so this is gonna be the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Hopefully it helped and I'll see you in the next one.